Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Full Face Friday. Cecilia II is still living strong. It's killing me. I'm actually pre-filming right now, so last week's Full Face Friday, I actually filmed this morning. <laughs> because... <coughs> because when you're watching this, I'm actually going to be in Ontario for a week for my beautiful cousin's wedding, and I'm so excited. So that's what I'll be. I'll be sitting amongst the other folks, watching her and her nuptials bliss. I had planned today to just be like a chatty get ready with me. I wanted the theme to be fall makeup, um, but I kind of don't know what I'm gonna end up titling this because there's a lot of products I just wanted to try, and also a lot of products from last week that I just wanted to continue using, and I just generally wanted to do my makeup with you guys. I feel like a lot of you are like myself, and we just like to turn a YouTube video on while we're getting ready, sitting in the background, doing our thing. So I thought I would just chat with you guys about some general newness and do my makeup with you. So that's what we're gonna do today. Hope you guys are cool with that. And I'm also halting the the Full Face Friday giveaways just for a while because there's a lot of shit going on in the background and you guys will be caught up very shortly. But this background, you will not be seeing for much longer. So just wanted to give you guys the heads up. I'm sorry that there's no giveaway last week. I'm sorry that there's no giveaway this week, but I do want to continue it eventually. Just not today. Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna start by applying this Revlon Kiss Balm, the coconut balm. If you guys watched my video last week, the Drugstore Full Face Friday, this is such a great little lip balm. What can I say? I like to have some moist lips. I'm actually gonna take a mixture of the Smashbox Primerizer, which I'm almost done, and the L'Oreal Havana Sunlit Bronzer. I'm just gonna mix the two of these for a little bit of a glow. This mixture is really nice, and I just need to give some life back into my face right now because I'm just RIPing my summer tan, basically, and feeling so sad that it's leaving me, and I'm just not quite ready to let go of it yet, so I'm just gonna apply this bronzy warmth all over my skin, but that's nothing new here. I do love that one. I think it's a little bit deeper than the Glotion. However, definitely too sheer to be a bronzer. I don't know, I'm not entirely sure what they were doing calling that a bronzer. I would call it a bronzing liquid, but it's definitely not deep enough to be a bronzer. No way. <laughs> mm. I recently filmed a video with Sam where we swapped our makeup bags. I will link it in the description box down below. When we swapped bags, I tried her Natasha Denona Face Glow Foundation. And mine finally came in the mail. I had made a final VIB sale order and she was like, oh, you have, oh God, what have I done? Oh, what have I done? Sorry, I'm just breaking it over here. She was like, you have to try this. It's so good. She's used up her entire thing. And so I got the shade 42, which I actually, um, I shade matched at Sephora right when I got back from Europe because that's when that magical little Sephora sale was and I feel like it's gonna be too dark for me now, so I'm sorry about that. There's nothing new to see here. I'm constantly using things that are too dark for my skin. Oh, you know what? It's not too bad. Okay. I really liked it. I really, really liked it. It's very, very glowy. Truly a glowy base and it's it's pretty light coverage. It's like in between a light coverage foundation and a medium coverage foundation. It's nowhere near as light as a tint, but you can still see all of the freckles and things through it. So it's like on a spectrum of light to medium, light being here, medium being here, it's like here. Hopefully you are catching what I'm putting down, but it has a really nice just feeling. It has a nice smell, skin-like feeling to the touch. I just really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed playing with it at her house and now I have my own. So uh, I'm not gonna do an entire foundation review, but I believe pretty much anything that Miss Queen Sam uses. So here we are. And following up from last week's video, I really, really liked the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. This one here, the little sponge applicator, and I am feeling a little bit sleepy. So I'm gonna pop this under my eyes. I'm actually gonna put it on top of my eyes as well just to give it a little bit of life. And I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and blend that out. Very lovely, it feels so nice, I look so awake. What a difference that makes on the under eyes, it's crazy. Light C34, love that thing. I might actually just put it on my chin too, just to brighten up that area. And I'm actually just gonna take the L'Oreal Infallible um, Foundation Stick again, another product I used last week, but I was really, really impressed with the makeup from that drugstore video. Um, and I'm actually gonna use this as concealer because I thought it had a really nice coverage and I don't really have a new concealer to show you guys. So I thought that this would kind of be a newer-ish product. And even though it's a foundation, I like the amount of coverage that it has. And I think it, the color is really nice. What did I get in this? Sand 405. And so I'm just gonna blend that out and use it as a concealer on top of the foundation. So this is the finished base. 
besides Cecilia II. I'm obsessed with this. I'm obsessed with this stick foundation. I mean, I use it as a concealer, but I think it's such a beautiful mix. The Natasha Denona Face Glow is a really beautiful light base to put all over, but just because I have some more significant spots right now, I did want something a little bit heavier, but just wanted to toss this in and say it's great. But it, do, 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 do. I've got no new bronzers or concealers. I'm actually just gonna go in and use my Marc Jacobs Omega Brands. I haven't used this one in a while. And I think it's such a pretty bronze. I'm just taking my Burberry little angled blush. Whoop. Shedding, shedding brush to apply this. And when I'm applying makeup over top of giant zits, I try really hard to stipple it more instead of rubbing it over that area. Oh my God, this brush is shedding like a mother. I did want to use the Physician's Formula Butter Champagne Highlight. I think it was so pretty and it's so intense. So I'm just going to use a really, really light hand with it. Like just one dip for both sides because when I used it before, it was like, bam. I think it's so pretty. It really, really reminds me of just like a more intense version of the NARS Ibiza Highlighter. I think it's great. I really like this packaging too. I love that they switched it out for the twisty box instead of their normal bulkier packaging. Now in terms of blush, I actually did pick up three new shades of the Laura Mercier blushes because I think, I don't know if it's entirely a new reformulation, but it looked like they just totally redid all their blushes. So I picked up three shades. These are their blush color infusion. I wanted to use the shade Ginger naturally because I love the nude blushes, but this is their new packaging for the blush. Very sleek, very nice. This is the shade Ginger. It comes with quite a significant mirror too, which is really lovely. Ginger is a more nice kind of peachy nude. Then I also got the shade Peach, which is a really true deep peach. The color is showing more when I face it this way. It's quite a quite a deep peach. And then lastly, I also got the shade Fresco, which yes, this is a shimmery nude. So Ginger was a matte nude. And then I got the shade, oh, let me face it this way. I got the shade Fresco, which you can see there's a little layer of shimmer there. I kind of want to try Fresco. I feel like Ginger will go better with the makeup that I'm about to do on my eyeballs. So I'm going to go with Ginger. Oh, oh. <gasps> yeah, that's so nice. This is the perfect, like, warm toned nude for fall. This is very pretty. I go through phases with blush. Sometimes I use it a lot and sometimes I really just don't bother with it at all. And I'm kind of back into my swing of really using and loving blush. Like I feel like my face is very incomplete without it. This is really pretty. I think this is such a gorgeous, like natural everyday shade and it's just a little bit warmer. Okay, I'm gonna really quickly set in my brows. I don't really feel like doing my brows as per use. I'm just gonna use the Milk Makeup Kush brow gel. This is the shade Haze. I think it's lovely. Ooh, in other news, I also got my hair redone. I hadn't actually gotten it done since going to Europe. I had, it's been since June, which is crazy. If you have blonde hair, you know how wild that gets. But I think Armine, the lady sweet woman who does my hair, she did such a good job and she basically dyed my hair gray before I went to Europe and that allowed the blonde to last really, really nicely. Like it lasted very nicely considering how much chlorine and salt water I was jumping into, but I finally got my hair redone. It's so much more fresh. Thank you, Armine, as always. All of her information is also listed in the description box down below. So for eyeshadow, this was my final, <laughs> this is my final, purchase um, and this is something that came out a long time ago not that long ago and I've actually never purchased eyeshadows from this particular brand because I find them so absurdly priced that it makes me want to vomit every time I look at the products for sale I think it's just absolutely crazy but this palette for some reason the look of it just made me weep and when it went out of stock I was so sad and when I saw that it came back in stock I did not walk, I ran to my computer and I ordered this. I've never ordered something more fast in my entire life, but the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette was a palette that I for so long regretted not having purchased because I think it's just so beautiful. Look at this thing. This one was $162 Canadian, which is disgusting. And would I ever recommend that someone buys it? No, unless it's the only palette that you're ever going to buy and use and you're going to use every single shade. I would never suggest buying it, but just because I do do YouTube for a full-time job, my life is makeup. I was like, okay, I'm, I simply must buy this palette and see if it's worth the absolutely insane price tag. So I picked it up and this is going to be my first time I'm going to be playing with it. So wanted to test it out on camera, y'all. It has this really annoying flap with the shade names on it. I kind of just want to rip it off. Oh, oh, I actually just ripped the packaging. Okay, that's embarrassing. Oh God, oh God. 
well, there's 15 eyeshadows. Each one has 2.5 grams. I'm gonna start with this peachy shade here. And I'm just gonna set, set the base in. Ooh, that's a lot darker than it looks in the pan. Look at that, okay. So, we're coming in hot. This is a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, I think. Yes, Deluxe Crease Brush. I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. This is a Smith 232 brush. And I'm just gonna dive right in. I'm gonna, whoa, that is so much deeper than I thought it would be. Wow, so much more pigmented than I was expecting. Oh God, oh God, oh God. It's shearing out quite nicely, but damn, I don't know, I wasn't expecting it to be that intense. Okay, so I was able to blend that out quite a bit. Noted for next time, use a very, very, very light hand. I'm gonna dip into this nice deep brown right here with a Smith 230 brush. I'm just gonna really lightly try a little, not like a, I'm not, I don't wanna do a deep intense halo eye, but I might try a little bit of a halo something something. Okay, that's one thing I'm gonna note with this palette. Like I so, so lightly dip the brush into the pan, like barely, barely touching it. And so much product comes off. I barely, barely brushed the palette. I'm gonna take the same deep brown on the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna smoke it out with this center orangey brown shade. I'm gonna mix the two outer deep brown shades. I really want to try to make this outer corner deeper. That's, that, that's pretty deep. I'm just placing that on the lid. And I'm just gonna wiggle it out. When I dip, you dip, we dip. I put your brush up on my dip. Whoop. I'm just kind of connecting the two pachas here, continuing that depth on the eye. I'm gonna dip into this shimmering shade with my finger. Wow, I barely touched that and so much came off. Oh, wow. I'm just patting that with my finger and it's blending out so nicely. Oh my gosh, I really didn't want to love these shadows, but I'm not gonna lie, guys. I I love them. This is right up my alley. This palette is just oh, so good. I'm also just realizing how um how shiny I look in the camera, so I am just gonna really quickly powder my soul with the milk makeup powder. It's looking so shiny there. Oh <laughs> shine, go away. I didn't want to do anything too crazy with the eyes. I did just want to try out the palette. In terms of the palette as a whole, it's just a neutral, dreamy palette. And I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to apply some mascara, the Hourglass Caution Mascara, just to finish this off. For the lips, I wanted to try out this L'Oreal liner. This is the Color Riche Matte in 114 Matting Call. How clever. Oh wow, that is a lighter brown. I've been trying to find um, drugstore dupes for my Makeup Forever 5C liner. This one's pretty nice. It's not as deep, it's a little bit lighter. That's a pretty nice brown. It's a lighter nude. It's a lighter nudie brown. But that's pretty. Very creamy, it went on very, very easily. And I'm also gonna use the Revlon lip balm that I used, number 700. I really like this color a lot. A great poopy brown for the lips. And this is the finished makeup look, folks. I just wanted to play with some new and some old and some kind of new products with you guys. I wanted to do this very fall-inspired, brownie, orangey look. I don't know what I'm gonna title this video, but we shall see. Let me know in the comments down below any products that you're loving. Don't tempt me too much because I've just decided that I wanna know by. <laughs> but let me know any videos that you want to see from me. Let me know any fun facts. Tell me what's good. How was your day? I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!